What is going on you guys? Today we have another Ford Transit van video as you guys saw in the title. We are taking the van up to uh, Puyallup to a tent shop to uh, get some fresh tent on this bad boy because she ain't got no tent. It's like a freaking fishbowl up in this thing so we got to go and pick up some uh, pick up some parts for the second gen that I dropped off at the powder coaters a long time ago. Just gonna pick those up for my dad since it, they're his parts now because it's his truck and then uh, yeah we're gonna go get this thing tinted so let's freaking get this show on the road we got a bit of a short span we kind of pulled everything out of the back all the loose stuff just because there's no reason to have it back there right now just clanking around making a bunch of noise so yeah let's go ahead and start this boy listen to that v6 purr all right we're gonna get this show on the road peace Get a glimpse at what the windows look like right now, you guys, because here in a couple hours, she's going to be looking sweet. She about to be dark. Dang, you guys, we got the tent. Looks clean. That looks so good. Oh, my Lord. Now we just need to put them seat belts on. Yeah, that looks so much better. It's pretty dark. We got the do not roll down so we will not be rolling these suckers down but now we're gonna go home and sit in this terrible Friday traffic it's probably gonna take us an hour longer than normal so uh, I'll see you guys on the drive it looks so much better in here you guys it's not like such a fishbowl so much darker I love it. it looks so much better it's like keeps the brightness out by a lot I never knew the ceramic tin was this legit, but man, it is so legit. Like it's so much darker in here. It's awesome. This is the next day now, so the tent has had about, oh, I don't know, 18 hours? No, 14 hours, I would say, to, uh, um, we still can't roll the windows down, but like, to sit on there. He said it's gonna take like two weeks, maybe three, for all the bubbling to go away, all the water that's still in there. So it was a little trippy when I was driving last night because like he was saying like don't stare at the bubbles because it'll give you a headache. But of course when someone tells you not to do something, it just makes you want to do it more. So I'm just driving down the freeway and I keep on like losing like concentration of the road and I'm like looking at these bubbles. And then I have to like turn and look at the other side of the windshield so I like my eyes quit focusing on the bubbles. But no, the tint is looking just, oh, it looks so much better. So much better, you guys. Look at that. And the windshield, whoo, oh my. Looks so much better. I dig it. Yes. Yes. Poor BMW. We need to pull this thing out this week and wash it. Same with the second gen. I'm gonna wash that this week. So we'll go ahead and clean this sucker up this week. Clean up the truck. And then, uh, yeah, we got some work coming up, so. Gots to get them jobs done. You know, gotta make that moolah to pay for the Beamer. Uh, we did pick up the stuff uh, for my dad's truck. Because it's not my truck anymore, so I say. My dad's truck. Picked up the powder coating parts. They look phenomenal. Uh, shout out to CT Specialties just because, you know, they didn't get my phone number, so they gave me a huge deal on, like, the powder coat. They only charged me $100. So don't think you're just going to go there and get powder coat for $100 because that wouldn't have been the case. But because they didn't get my number, do gave me a deal. So I will definitely be taking the wheels off. Once I have the methods for the transit, I'll be taking those to him to get powder coated. It also looks phenomenal. Like, the powder coat looks great. Um, so, yeah. BMW, we need to wash, we need to check it, we need to make sure that there is no rats in it. I'm actually kind of worried about that. It's been sitting for like two weeks now and I haven't looked at it. So I should probably do that right now. But no, the tint, tint looks sick. Let's go ahead and show you those uh, powder coated parts. They're in the back of Whitney's car. It's her car locked. Man, really? All right, we'll be back with the keys. Oh, right, you guys got Whitney's key. Unlock the sucker. Alrighty, so we have this bad boy right here. Looks absolutely gorgeous. 
Look at that. Looks sweet. Go ahead and set this in the garage. Set that right there. To go grab the next piece. There's that intake pipe. Looks gorgeous. Set that right there. And here's the boost tube for the Monster Ram intake. Set that right there. So yeah, stuff came out real nice. I love this intake. It's so sweet. Alright you guys, I'm kind of scared to check. Ooh, is it going to unlock? I don't know, I think the battery might be dead. Yeah, the battery's dead. Shoot. Alright, one sec. Right. Put the key in there. Unlocker. If this thing don't have an alarm. Oh, Ooh, be careful. Oh, poor car. Make sure there's no rat. Anything in here. I think we're good. I don't see anything in the interior. Now the scary part. Let's check the engine bay. I'm scared. Oh man. Please. I don't see any rat prints. I'm scared to open this. Something's gonna jump out at me. How are we looking, guys? I don't see anything. You guys seeing anything? Oh, spider webs. I think we're okay. They must just like my dad's car. All of his cars. Because they do not mess with the BMW. Maybe it's because BMW they say, man, I don't want that piece of junk. Oh man, there they are. Good old seat belts. They don't look bad. Nothing I can't clean off. Alright, these things are minty. Just got a little clean up a little grease. Man, this looks confusing. So we got one bolt. Two bolt. Three bolt. And there's supposed to be a plug. Or something. Oh yeah. That's where you plug in the seatbelt right there. So we'll have to hop in the van and disassemble everything in the van. And then it shows what side it is. So this is right. God, how does that work? So if you're staying behind the van, would that be right and then left? Would it? I think so. We'll have to figure that out. Mm -hmm. But so we got both our seat belts in here. It's gonna look so much better than that crusty orange. So we'll go ahead and uh, go in the van and start tearing the uh, plastic trim off. And then we will uh, go ahead and take those ugly orange ones out. Throw these fresh black ones in. Let's go in the van. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Alrighty you guys, as you can see, we have no uh, mechanically in inclinement when it comes to replacing seat belts. I watched like a five minute video a week ago, so I think I remember how to do it. I just remember he took off this piece on the seat. Try not to break it. How am I gonna do this? See how ugly these orange seat belts are? Freaking Amazon, man. This is kind of a task. Well, we only got one smashed thumb. But we did, I think. I think we did it. You wanna hold that seat? Oh, we got one more thing holding this on. There she goes. Alrighty, we got one bolt right there. Now we gotta pop this big old juicy trim piece off. Some way. Let go. Let go of my trim. Oh, you dirty. Freaking. 
here we got this piece off after battling it. This little guy was uh, not being friendly. As you can see, it's got these, oh shoot. I think we bent that hook a little. Oh well. All right, now what? I think that's, oh, do we have to pull this piece off? Yeah, why you got the boom mic in my face? Man, we really gonna have to pull that off? That blows. All right, I'm gonna pull this bottom. Get another. Man, this wall is really making it difficult. Oh, it's those things. Game over. Okay guys, so we have a size 50 Torx fit. Should fit in like a glove. It does. We'll go ahead and loosen all this up, starting with this guy. It's little things, you guys, that matter. Like orange seat belts. They just gotta go. So there's the first piece. Come up here. Quite easy process to remove these seats. To remove the seats? Ah, uh, seat belts. Mm -hmm. Seats too, though. I'm sure it's only like four bolts. Alrighty, so the video I watched, the guy used the pick to pop this guy up, I guess. I think this is gonna be. Oh no. That was pretty easy. Bam! Just like that. Get rid of them orange crappy seat belts. We ain't Amazon, okay? Just because we got an Amazon van, don't mean we Amazon. Alright, we got the fresh seatbelt housing. Let's find our little plug-in. Betty, what are you doing, dude? She's dangling. She's got the paw dangling. She's ready for a road trip. We got the black seatbelts in now, though. Looking absolutely fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, with that ugly orange crap. Penny, what you think about the new seatbelts? They pimping? They pimping? Penny, they pimping? What you think, Penny? They pimping? What you think? They pimping? They look a lot better. They pimping. Not moldy and gross. They pimping. They pimping. They pimping. <laughs> All right. Well, it's probably gonna wrap it up for what we're doing to the van. Um, we do have some more stuff coming for the van. It's just not here yet. Probably won't be here till November because it's shipping from Europe. So we'll be waiting on that stuff. We probably will be ordering more stuff in between now and when the, that piece shows up. So stay tuned for more van content because it will be coming at you. Um, not sure when, maybe like in a week or two, but stay tuned because we got, we got a couple more things to order and then it has to get wrapped. And then that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this build for now because... I'm not trying to spend like $8 trillion on this thing. But eventually I would like to replace the seats with some more comfy ones. Um, put cruise control on this thing. Stuff like that. But that's probably not going to be for a while. Figure out if I can figure out a way to get sync into the van so I can change the screen to the 8 inch one. But we'll see. That can come later down the road for now. We're just doing little things that are going to make this thing look cleaner cosmetically and not so much of like an Amazon van. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys dig the new uh, seat belts and tint. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal compared to how it did. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Other than that, it's gonna end off today's video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.